Well, we're in Genoa, and it's Genoa and Rossford. That means it's the maroon and gray fight here on the Toledo Sports Network. Hi, I'm Mick Gonzalez. This here is Mike Davison. Jamo, you got a couple of guys, a couple teams here. With uh, you got one team in Rossford who are putting it together. You got a team in Genoa, and that's who we'll start with first, the home team. Uh, they're still figuring a few things out, but they're not that far off. Well, Sean Joplin's come in here, started a whole new program, and is making things go with the JVs. And what they've been able to do with varsity now is, is I, I think that the big thing that they're going to have to do is figure out a way to hold on to the ball. You know, the one thing that Rossford's got is their quickness and their ability to get the ball inside really hard. And that's going to be a big thing for Genoa tonight. Yeah, and then, of course, over on the other side with the Genoa Comets, you know doggone well, when, especially when you look at the uh, leading scores, you got a couple of guys in there uh, that are really going to light it up, and you can count on them to do it. Well, when they get the ball inside, or when they get the ball on their side of the court, they do something. They always are able to do something with that ball, and that's Coach Vorst. That's the one thing he's been able to put a lot of things together. You know, Genoa's a scrappy ball club. I think it's going to be a great game tonight. And uh, we saw Genoa in the game right before this one. On the, they really couldn't light the fire. They just couldn't get that fire lit. And, you know, Genoa's hoping to be able to do that kind of magic tonight again. Well, we'll see what happens. It's maroon and gray day here at Genoa High School. And we'll have the opening tip when we come back. Genoa and Rossford coming up next on the Toledo Sports Network. So we get ready to tip it off here between the Comets and the Bulldogs here in Genoa. Looking forward to what should be a spirited, interesting game. As Well, Mike, what are your keys to the game here today? Alan Latar, period. If Latar has a good game tonight and uh, plays the way I think he can tonight, he can really keep up with, uh, you know, what's going to be happening here with the, uh, with the Bulldogs tonight. Oh. Ed Morrison getting the tip for his team. As the Bulldogs will start out with first possession. I, I noticed Genoa already. They're staying real hard with the man-to-man. Uh, -man. Gadsden right in there. I was going to say, that's a big deal for Cameron Gadsden. Well, Gadsden makes a lot of things happen for them and, uh, and always has done that. Full court pressure pays off on the turnover for Rossford. Well, that's why Murph's in there. That's his job is to make sure that happens. And Vince had a little problem with that three-point shot in the last couple of games. If you watch the game right before this, Ben was having some problems. And late in the game, really was able to do some stuff with Eastwood. And uh, Oh, errant pass goes right through the hands of Mike Reitenauer. And those are the kind of things that you have to really, really work on to make sure you don't have happen. We'll see what happens here in this possession. Gaston brings it down. Coach Hossfield is really trying to, you know, put some brand new ideas together and uh, make sure they take it to the hole, and that is beautiful right there. Nice follow-up tip by Mr. Ben Morrison. Playing like the Wiley veteran that he is. Long pass down court. Well, getting his own rebound back up and good. Good second effort there by Zach Zapala. 4-2 your score. Three-point bomb does not go. 
from Ethan DeWeese. Ryan Sapilia, a really dear friend of mine, and a uh, does a lot of doctoring. That's his nephew out there on the floor. The ball go back over here to Rossford. So it will be inbound there by Nick Borovich. Well, what you're seeing so far is they're taking the ball to the hole. They're making some things happen. You know, Gadsden starts firing threes up there. You know, things could get really, really scary for uh, for the Comets. Nice. Great reverse, but did not fall. Latar with another rebound. Good stuff. Him and Stoner are doing a nice job on the low, on the low side. And Wasserman's just a hell of a point guard. Moving just inside. A... Back out. There it is. No, off the rim. They battle for it, but DeWeese comes up with it. Ethan sends it down court. Nice feed underneath to Morrison. He couldn't finish. There are going to be a lot of scrapping here tonight. They're moving the ball quickly, both sides. The alley-oop oh, nice. to nobody in particular. Oh, but no, that went to Latar. That was yeah, off. Oh, I know, but, I mean, it was <laughs> not near the basket. That was away from the basket a bit, but regardless, Rossford, here's a three attempt from DeWeese. No good. Another rebound. That's Grandpa DeWeese. That's the old man, Deweese, right there. His younger brother will be in in a little while. They're you're both so, trucks. You're so nice. Yeah, yeah. They're both Peterbilt trucks, man. I'll leave that alone. They play well, though. Comets with the ball. <laughs> kind of like their daddy, you know. He's a good guy. He never beat me up, so I, I haven't got That's anything bad to say. That's the only reason you like him. That's probably right. He's like 10 feet taller than me, but uh, with those Deweeses, I think they got molded in a, in a, different, uh, in a different oven. Well, speaking of which, here's Mike right now for Genoa. Feed in the paint. It's tipped. Oh, love it. But it goes right That's into Zipilia. the hands of Zapila. And Zapila puts it home and tied at four. All four points for Genoa coming from said Mr. Zach Zapila. Zapila. There's no IA at the end. I've only been playing basketball with his... His uncle for 20 years. That's fine. I go by what the PA announcers tell me. So there. Long feed down court. And he goes up. Zach does. And he'll draw the foul. It's Emerson with the, or, 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 I'm sorry, that's uh, Borovich with the uh, with the foul right there. And Well, Nick's been playing real well in the last couple of games that we've done. And, uh, uh Coach Force has really got, and I think that's what the main strength is for, for the Bulldogs is the fact their bench is so deep. Chile missed the first one. Do you know, do you know if they want to really uh, keep this one and hang tough in this one, they've got to be able to take advantage of these free throws. There you go. One of two. One point game as you've got some substitutions. And Coach Forrest will just keep rolling them in, rolling them in. I mean, basically everybody on that bench is going get, to get some playing time tonight. St. Clair in for Zach Steele. Oh, nice pass. Now he's coming in there. there. Oh, nice. nice teardrop there from. Mr. Gaston, 8-5 your score. Actually, Genoa's handling the press real well. I'm really, really impressed with the way they've been able to get the ball up here and, and do the things they need to do with it. Stoner, well, he can take it in a second. Keeping it around the perimeter here is Genoa. LaGrange is another good point guard coming off the bench for the Comets and uh, able to do some stuff right now. Boy, they just are all over right. Stoney. Three, good. That's nice. Well set up. Beautiful stroke there by Ryland Stoner. And the game is tied at eight. Yeah, Borovich, yeah, that's not his shot. But. No. Comets with the rebound. Right now, Mikey gets it. Kicks it back out. Here's another three. LaGrange. A little too far. And he hits them, too. He's got some good ones. Ethan Deweese with the re or with the ball, or rebounded it. Now down court. Ooh. 
Yeah, they're going to get that one to Ryland. <laughs> well, that's a second foul on Deweese. Bring Wasserman back in. Both guys are very good ball handlers. Uh, Stoner can take it to the hole a little bit harder, but Wasserman can take care of it up north where they need it. Somebody's got to stay on Gadsden, you know. Now Morrison. Well, Gadsden's doing a nice job at point guard tonight. Beautiful, Jamari oh, Kroom. Oh my goodness, wow. Kroom with the bucket. The effort was what made it so sweet. Well, they stuck with Gadsden, you know, and uh, and basically double teamed him on the in the lane. So that's going to leave him open. Another wide open and a turnover. Orbit. Count it and one. Now the Bulldogs starting to turn it on. Two and twelve left to go here in the opening quarter. Sapili in for Latar and. Uh, Got a lot of a lot of games coming up this week. Tomorrow we're going to be doing the Eastwood Anthony Wayne girls game at one o'clock. At one o'clock, uh, we we've been invited over to Anthony Wayne and appreciate them letting us in. And Rossford hits another. So it's a 13-8 ball game. Coming up on two minutes to go here in the opening quarter. It's taking their time. Oh, tough break. Oh, good job. To, well, it was a good job to keep it in this side of the court. But yep. Hey, got some special things going on to Fast Track Performance tonight, helping a lot of these kids out right here get themselves in shape. Wojo's Heating, A-plus Home Improvement. Rex Huffman, attorney, Genoa Bank, and Gladio do it best. Just making sure we get these games in. Nice inside. That's Great left-handed effort is Nick Borovic. That's Borovic, yep. Yep, able to sink that one. We got a timeout on the court. 1.34 to go, and the visitors up by seven. Now a bank help finance my great grandfather's farm equipment. Genoa Bank helped my grandfather with a small business loan. My parents' home loan was from Genoa Bank. And I managed my free checking account online with Genoa Bank. Since 1902, Genoa Bank has helped generations of families. Many things have changed over the years, but our commitment to our customers has not. We care about their needs and the good of our community. At Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Stop by any of our eight locations today. Seconds. Play back underway. Comments with the ball. They got some work to do in this opening quarter. And we've got contact. And Kroom got him. Oh, yeah. Yep. Jamari Kroom, the 6'4 junior. He's not going to get the ball away from right now. <laughs> That's just not going to happen. I give him credit, though. It was worth the shot. Two team fouls now on the Bulldogs. Up, oh, kick. Yep. So. That ball will stay with Genoa. Mike Reitenauer sets it inbound. Ooh, good defensive play there by Gaston. More substitutions here, one from each side. And yeah, they're bopping between Latar and uh, and uh, uh, Lagrange, trying to get, trying to keep everything going. So the it's looking to close the gap. Right oh. now, our double team uh. and causing the turnover. Deweese. For nice. Kroom, underneath, and they finish it. Well, I'll tell you what, that was just pure, unselfish basketball right there. Yes, Good job. it was. As Gaston finished it. That gives him eight points here in this opening quarter. Up. Another turnover, yeah, Gaston. 
as he feeds it up there for Mr. Ethan Dweis. And all of a sudden, it's a 19-8 ball game. That's what we talked about. It. It's that ball handling and making sure that passes are made if you're a Comets fan right now that you just have to make sure things happen. They're gonna, oh, right. That was a clean block, hand on the ball. Yeah, they so. call it jump ball. Staying here with the so Comets. Yep. Possession arrow keeps it with the home team. 21 seconds remaining. With the longest 21 seconds in basketball, right? Yep, they usually oh. are. Able to get the ball over to the corner for the shot. No good. And the rebound. Gavin Deweese with the rebound. Here's Gaston. Five seconds. That might go. Oh, oh Ethan, the old man Deweese with the tray at the buzzer. One quarter in the books here in Genoa, and right now it's all Rossford as they lead this one 22 to 8. At Heben Murphy and Lewandowski, we deal with contested wills by breaking down the legal terms involved and making this complex area of law as simple as possible. If you are involved with a case in estate or probate litigation, we would be happy to provide you with our unparalleled legal counsel. Heben, Murphy, and Lewandowski, downtown Rossford. Contact them today at 419-662-3100. Heben, Murphy, and Lewandowski. Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa, has been serving the area with quality jewelry and gifts for over 19 years. Specializing in gold and silver repairs, Frank Comeis has been a goldsmith for over 30 years. Our selection of Pulsar watches, precious moments figurines, reflections beads, seraphim classics, and quality stellar rings, all at a price you can afford. Genoa Jewelers also buys gold and silver and has the perfect gift for that someone special. Stop out today at Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa. Mike Jamison and Jamison's Mobile Music would like to talk to you about your entertainment needs for your upcoming wedding or special event. For over 25 years, Mike has made wonderful memories one event at a time. Professional sound and lighting and video for your special event. Call us today for an affordable package for your special day. 419-514-1302. Jamison's Mobile Music and Video. Ready to start the second quarter here. I got to get apologies out. I'm sure Sturko saw our new commercial we just did for Heben, Murphy, and Lewandowski. But I, for whatever reason, I had a wrong tag on there, and that's Oops. the old tag. So I apologize for that. And I'll uh, we'll get that fixed. It's uh, the craziest day in the world. You know, it's one of those absolutely crazy days, and uh, got everything going. And uh, we're here tonight, ready for basketball. That's what matters. Getting the hoops here to you, but we do thank all of our sponsors. <laughs> if you want to sponsor around this broadcast, 419 514 1302 is the number to call. You can talk to this guy over here on my right. Here's a three attempt from the corner, no good. That was short. And the comments will bring it back up. Yeah, we actually got the uh, subways here on uh, Route 51 and uh, the one right here uh, on Woodville Road, too, that have come on board with us. We're grateful In and for out. that. Yep, that one rattles. We yeah. can actually eat their food, right? Well, if you want to eat a loaf of bread every time. Yeah, that's true. Here comes. Well, Destazio just made us a hell of a pizza tonight. Yes, and, uh, he did. And, I, uh, I will vouch for that. Mikey Long always, pass. Yeah, too much. Just a little bit too far for Andrew St. Clair. So Gaston will bring it up. Right now, the Comets. He'll take work. that every day. It's going to say Gavin just sunk yeah. that bomb. Yeah, he's the youngin. He's the youngin. He's the pup, but he's still able to sink it. Him and, a bro him and his brother both can uh, play. You know, they go off each other pretty well. Bins with the foul. And unfortunately, there for Layhart, or Laytart rather. 
That basket does not count because he made a great effort to go to the bucket there. This is to me from, like I say, I have a novice eye. I don't have the eye or experience oh. that you have. Yeah, they just missed Sepelia in, uh, in the middle right there. Yep. But, yeah, if they need to go inside. They've got some height. Don't be afraid. Well, the problem with them going inside, it's they have to get it there. Every time they get it to a point to make it happen, they clog it up. That's better. See, that's what yeah, I mean. See, they got to move that ball. Yeah, they had later on that one. Here's a three attempt. That's going to be okay. short. Oh, but underneath. Right there. Yep, puts it home. Now, I've been watching him since he was a freshman. And I'll tell you what, he plays good and hard inside. And uh, he knows what his job is on the court. 24-10. A couple more buckets like that, and Genoa can be right back in it. Well, this is going to go back and forth. There's no doubt. Good oh. swat away now. Gavin moved in, but, yeah, did the uh, Rossford cha-cha-cha. He danced on that one. Okay. Well, Leanne Womack did. The Croatian judge gave him a 9.1 uh, for artistic impression. Gotcha, gotcha. But I'm so mad about that. Murphy, about that commercial I did. I'm so mad it. at myself. Stop it. All day, all day. And then I did it wrong. Oh. Oh. And it's going to, they're going to call it. Yeah, Mike said it's going back. Yep. Well, Mike says goes. Mike being. Rough Mike. Rough Mike. Rough Mike. Mike has a, Mike used to shoot threes in my face in fed ball for years. We became very good friends. I just let him shoot. You know, I got to a point. Score 40. Uh -oh. oh, my there goodness. Go. Ethan with the bucket, the long three. And it's 27-10. Ethan had a lot of problems hitting the ball against Eastwood. And, and a turnover. Yeah. Here's Gaston. Lays it up and in. Not going to miss those. Coming back the other way, though. Oh, yeah. Comets answer, but they need to... Be a little more consistent with that. Dewey's for three. No good. Rebound. Froom. Wow, baseball pitch there from Gaston. That one doesn't go. Borvich a little short on that one. Ryan Stoner. Nice. Now over here on the right side. Gila almost came right into our laps. Deweese just told Ruff that was soft. <laughs> oh, man expressing his opinion. Uh, so when you're a ref, you just want to say, shut up. <laughs> just shut up. Him, you little, you, 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 punk, punk, you punk kid. <laughs> little brat, get out of here. You're bothering me. Collins with the ball, 435 to go in the half. Yeah, Mikey was a hell of a ball player. Right now, speaking of Mike's. Oh, everyone saw that pass coming. Kroom picked it off. Now from the corner. Another one. Got it. Oh. He's on fire now. No getting around that one. Ethan Deweese. Grandpa got his Werther's fine candies today, I think. Uh-oh. Looking for an answer, but no three there. Right now, our driving stops. Oh, it didn't go. Ethan Dewey throws it down for Morrison, and he lays it up and in. Mm -hmm. And I believe a timeout being taken by Genoa. 3.41 to go, 34-12 your score. At Maumee Bay Turf Center, we're on your team. Providing quality stadium surfaces for area high school stadiums and the preferred product of the NFL and supplier to the last four Super Bowls and the NFL Hall of Fame. Your sports field construction specialist and a proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio.
Graymont in Genoa, producers of doclamide lime and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont. For more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. 34 12 the score right now. What can the Comets do here, Mike, to try and get back in this one? Well, what we talked about before the game, when you're when when you're in half court offense, you gotta make things happen. You know, and uh, it's just the turnovers have just killed them. And and that's if if they can keep the ball, keep the ball on this side of the court, and then get that two points. And uh Rossford's just been able to make a lot of things happen like that right there and a pass right into the hands of Morrison he'll send it for Kroom but he loses it and the Comets will bring it back here's right now nice Bounce that's pass. how you do it yep to feel it with the bucket and now back to a 34 14 ball game Luis has been hot, why not? But yeah. did not get that one to go. He's got the green light. Right now we're for three. Too strong. Morrison tapped that one. I think we got a foul on Genoa. Well, we're gonna have a timeout on the court. 242. And the Bulldogs up big. What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. Right. Miss spoke before the break, it was actually I believe Mr. Morrison that got the foul. His first. So it'll be Genoa ball. Gats in the high scorer right now. Actually, take that back. Billy is the high scorer. The comments with the uh, 11 and Gats well, for 10. Yeah. Don't forget, Deweese has 11 also. Round, Kroom stepped on the on the baseline. The referee was right there to make the call. So it'll be Comet ball to inbound here. Get that ball inbounded. Wow, that was close. Oh, nice inside. Now, yeah, oh, you got to take that off. I was going to say, three attempt, yeah. no good. Oh, I got his own rebound, though. Yep, here we go again. Long two, nothing. It's been that way for the Comets tonight. They yeah. can't get that ball to go in. Kroom with the rebound, and uh, very strong, too, but Gadsden. Wow. That's his little 10 footer, boy. He just yeah. does so well with that. He's fun to watch, man. He's so full of energy. I think we're going to be watching him a lot when it comes time for playoffs. I think you're right. Oh. Thomas keeping it outside. Off of Kroom, he's able to scoop it up. Oh. Able to regain control, or did he? Looks like he did, because there's a foul called. Kroom gets the foul. Yep. So, 16 fouls here on the Comets. Next one. And Special thanks going out to Eben Murphy and Lewandowski attorneys. They're over on Dixie Highway in Rossford helping us out each and every week. Of course, Ooh. Brad Morrison and uh, all the great people over at uh, Mommy Bay Turf uh, helping us out with all our Rossford games. We just can't thank you guys enough and uh, working it out for us. We appreciate it. Comets will head to the charity wow. strike. Uh, here's a turnover. 
DeReese went up. Yeah. And he was fouled. So that'll be the fourth team foul for Genoa. Took me about 20 minutes to try and say that Genoa would go to the free throw line if Rossford commits another foul. That's a young in DeWeese. And that one just clanks off the rim. No and he's good. a much bigger boy than uh, than uh, his brother Ethan. is. Yeah. Well, it shows them both at 6'5", but... Different builds. Yeah, a little bit. Rebound. Free throw is no good. Here's the Comets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Murph's going to get that one. Yep. So now it's one and one time. And you got to make these happen, you know. You, you've gotten yourself there now. You've attacked. Let's we'll see what Reed Murphy can do. Oh, it's Wasserman. Oh, I'm sorry, Wasserman. You're right. This got is my where. Name, got my names all mixed up here. Fine. You're all right. Uh-huh. Awesome. Got to make them happen, man. Yep. Wasserman's a good three-point or a, a foul, foul shooter too. So got the shooters bounce there. Minute to go here in this first half. Oh, good anticipation! Oh, Ooh, hard collision there. That one doesn't go. <laughs> Good effort by Deweese. And count it and one. We're letting him play. We're that's, definitely letting him play. That's putting it mildly. Wow. <laughs> that was a collision the football coaches should have took note of. That's the reason I quit dating. Nice. Woman hit me like that. I said never again. And he got it. 39-16. Yep, well, it's just, you know, you just can't get into that kind of battle with one of the DeWeese's. You know, it's like battling a Mack truck or a, you know, a Freightliner. Stoner. Oh. Oh. Ooh. He pushed him. He slid hard towards right in the student section, but he stopped just shy of the metal seats there. So, thankfully, he's fine. Don't forget, coming up at halftime, we will be talking to the girl that swatted Mike. <laughs> anyway. Only on the internet. Internet feed only. Oh, I've been good for 26 years. Let's just leave it that way. How do you, what do you think? You know? I'm not commenting. Stoner made the first. Let's see what he does here second time around. This is two for two. Gives him five points here in the first half. Under half a minute to go. Gadsden is just incredible at the point. He is just, he so reminds me of Freddie, uh, of, uh, of Gervin from Milwaukee. He's just as smooth, he's the ice man. George Gervin? George. It's like George Edward or something, wasn't it? Uh, well, uh, George Gervin was the ice man. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. The original, the other ice man as the buzzer goes. Oh! Oh! Well, they tried. They tried. One court, one half in the books here at Genoa High School as it's 39 18. The Comets trailing the Bulldogs. Hi there. I'm Nick with A Plus Building Maintenance, your Toledo handyman. Do you need home repairs done? Not sure who to call? Here at A Plus, we install everything from light bulbs to roofing. We're fully licensed and insured to protect you. We're also a proud member of the BBB. Please visit us online at ToledoHandyman.com. There you can see many before and after photos along with other customer testimonials and ask your own home repair question. Any job big or small, A-plus building maintenance, 419-478-1542. Adler Transmissions and Brake Shop, 106 South Main, Walbridge, Ohio. Your automotive's parts and accessories number one store. 
your first stop for quality transmission repair for over 25 years. Adler's Transmission and Brake Shop has been providing Walbridge and all of Northwestern Ohio with quality service. Adler's Transmission and Brakes, 419-666-1010. Proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. In fast food, there's value. Then there's fresh value from Subway. Fresh value is just $2.99 for the six inch oven roasted chicken. Seasoned all white meat chicken raised without antibiotics. Fresh value is the $2.99 six inch veggie delight with hand cut veggies and freshly baked bread. Fresh value is freshly prepared for you like the new Subway sliders starting at just $1.89. There's something for everyone. That's fresh value only from Subway. Can't read a thing. From the kitchens of Italy to you, Arturo's Pizza Kitchen is the home of authentic Italian food. As one of the oldest independently owned pizzerias in Toledo, Arturo's Pizza Kitchen has been serving since 1988. With pizza, salads, award-winning subs, chicken chunks and wings, mom's own lasagna recipe, and our famous cheese sticks, we have it all. Never frozen, always homemade. Arturo's Pizza Kitchen. Hungry? Call Arturo's, 419-698-1641. You've planned and planned. Each moment of your special day just has to be perfect. You don't want to worry about anything. Just know that you've hired professionals to make your wedding day special. Mike Jamison with Creative Video Imagery has produced award-winning weddings for over 15 years. Our company has the equipment and the artistic ability to capture your day on digital DVD, giving you lasting memories of a day you will cherish forever. Call Creative Video Imagery today or visit our website, Creative Video Imagery, making moments into lifetime memories. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284. Genoa, get ready to start the second half, third quarter action, getting ready to commence. I am Mick, he is Mike, and Mike, we saw some things out of Genoa that they, they're, they're not that far off. They still got some work to do, but they've got, they've had some really good moments in there. They just got to be able to finish. That's the big thing. Well, the thing you got to, you got to realize is, uh, all five starters that are on Rossford's teams could be point guards probably anywhere in the Northern Buckeye Conference, yet alone probably anywhere in Northwest Ohio. So that makes things really tough. So they've got, they've got to figure out a way to utilize whatever's happening inside. And when they're on offense, they got to make something happen. And that's, and that's not what you want. Right turn over to start things off. Yeah, Gadsden is just everywhere for Rossford, and, it, and it's killing them on these cross-court passes. I'm, I'm not. I'm not cool with the cross court pass. I'd rather. Oh, oh beautiful, beautiful. Great put. Oh, oh man, Morrison did everything but score. Now back the yep, other that's way. That's gonna be a foul. And they'll count it. That's Borovic with the uh, foul too. Right. Yep. So Stoner will head to the line to try and complete the conventional three point play. But yeah, now for the for the Rossford Bulldogs though. Uh, I'm sure Brian Vorst will find things to complain about. He's a coach. He's going to find things that he wants to work on and nitpick about. Mm -hmm. But as a fan, if you're, if you're a Rossford fan, that was about as good and entertaining a first half of basketball as there has been. Yeah, but they're upset. Coach not liking some things that, uh, you know, uh, wanted a little bit more out of him. Gadsden just is. Wow. Yeah. Little tuck with it. That know. was that was impressive, I have to say. Yeah. So well, that makes it 
No, it's actually should be 41-21. I, I got 41-21. Okay, well, we'll go by yours. Well, I. We'll go by yours. I mean, I'm I'm a pretty big deal, you know, in the. Uh, it's all about you. Now it goes down to 38. <laughs> all right. 39-20. <laughs> now they have it. Hey. See, so. And something. So, something's up in one of them uh, uh, Nordic uh, countries. Uh, so, something's fishy up there. Right now, he's taking it himself. Yep. Gadsden. Uh oh, now. this is going up, and it's. Laid up there by Morrison. Oh, ben was going to crank one down right there. I know he can do it. So the great thing about Ben Morrison is he's such a just a quiet, just I got to get my work done individual. Oh, you got numbers there. See, yeah, you, oh, got a bounce pass there. I mean, he had numbers in that. Uh, that should have been a score for Genoa. Now. Bulldogs looking to add to their lead, and yep. beautiful. Great job there by Borovic to sink the bucket, and I believe he will go to the free throw stripe to complete the three-point play. Well, when they load up a side and you get a guy on your butt like that, you know, that's what happens, and, uh, and, and they're able to do things. And... <laughs> it just makes for... If it don't, uh, you know, if the, if the bolts are tightened up, and you might as well go to C, man, and they're going to C right there. Tim Hosfeld going to the bench early here in this third quarter as that is completed, that free throw. And we are now at 46-21. You know, we talk about, uh, you know, the plants and the uh, benches and everything that was here last year. Yep. And, and uh, the... It was just a magical season for them, and there was a lot of rebuilding that had to be done. But, see, this is what happens when you have guys that literally have been playing since they were freshmen. Oh, what oh. a move. Unfortunately, it doesn't oh, go. Oh, boy, it's nice behind spin move. Oh, that's up. A... Stoner and Gaston tug at it, but I believe that foul is going to go against Ryland. So that's his third now. Morrison moving in the paint. Beautiful oh, bucket. That's how you spin it. That's how you spin it. That was beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. That's so much time working under the basket when nobody is around to learn how to make that ball spin like that. Beautiful, beautiful job. Stoner sends it over. Wasserman, Wasserman with the three. Yeah, they needed that. Huge, huge bucket. Wasserman. Him five on the night. Five minutes to go here in the third. Great turnover. Coming back the other way now for the Comets. It was St. Clair with the steal. Wasserman for three again. Got Boom. It. Couple more of those, and the Comets are back in this. Definitely Genoa Bank threes there. And uh, Gaston feeds it on the no look to Morrison. Oh, Does not him. go. Fella plant. Stoner kicks it over to the corner. It goes. That's some uh, LaGrange. Yeah. Around the corner, around the arch it goes. Right now we're trying to work inside, but a travel oh. call. Doing the disco, baby. Doing the disco. <laughs> Speaking of which, have we got a night yet for the uh, fundraiser? I don't, I don't know 45? yet. Have not put that yet together yet. Nice move, free th or three point shot. Excellent job. Reed Murphy. Stoner looking to drive. Kicks it to the corner. And Man, you make it into the paint. You go to the you go to the hole. Yep. You gotta go to the hole. I agree. Let them hit you, let them rip you up, let them tear your arm off. You go to the hole. So 
That's when I would start cussing as a uh, high school basketball coach. Uh, that's sure when a, I would be. I was going to say, make sure it's a public school. Yeah. Oh, nice job. Oh, man. Again, did everything. Did everything but put it home. I think it's staying here, too. Yeah, Waters it is. got in there. And, wow. Well, him and Gaston, bo Gaston both were swatting at it to try and, and bake Sinclair it off the other. was in there, too, man. It was just all of them. And uh, one, Gadsden looks good. In and out. Yeah. However, following up, no good. But we have a whistle and the foul. Nick Perry in the game. Another uh, six fiver here, senior for the Bulldogs. I mean, they're just loaded, dude. I mean, they are just loaded. Well, Nick Perry was the guy who got called for the foul. His second of the night. Who got called? Perry. No, that's who's shooting. Or oh, I'm sorry, you're right, you're right. I'm looking at it's supposed to be Laytart. Alan Laytart with his second foul. Got the second. So full court pressure here by the Bulldogs. Oh, Plank. Oh, nice. Nice recovery. And back up and in. Laytart now with his first bucket of the evening. 52-29. Nice. Great effort, but does not go. Right now we're looking for some help. And I think we got a foul call. It's on Rossford. Yeah, it is. That will be on Jamari Kroon. Both teams with three team fouls. 2.34 on the clock here in this third quarter. Yeah. That outside, here's Stoner. <laughs> Having some trouble with it, but is able to dish it off. Rossford's defense is just. Now he got a foul, though. Yeah, I was going to say. And they're going to call Ben Morrison picking up his second foul of the night. Fast track performance helping us out each and every week. Wojo's heating and air conditioning and uh, A plus home improvement. Rex Huffman, attorney, Genoa Bank, glad he would do it best. Schneider Sons Electric, Marty Ben and uh, Fairway Mortgage, Walt Churchill, Churchill's Markets in Maumee and Perrysburg. Thank you so much for uh, helping make this all ha happen. And uh, every week it gets crazy, and we all figure out a way to make it happen. One for two from the line. Mm -hmm. And the Bulldogs will bring it back up. That jumper does a good Morrison with the rebound. Now a scramble in the paint. That's going to stay here with the uh, Bulldogs. Yep. Ben, ben Morrison literally flew. I think he was flying that time. I don't see wings, but I saw flying right there. No cape. And he, he made everything happen. Ooh, able to keep it on this side of the court. Reminds me a lot of Jacob Plants from last year. Ben's just got away. He moves. Feet inside. Deweese lost it. And it's going to stay Rossford ball. Oh, they changed his mind. Yeah. What? Yep. Well, he, he did change his mind, but they're going to keep it with Rossford. Deweese again. This time up. No good. Got his own rebound. Got it to fall in. That thing barely rolled, but it did go. That's seven points now for Gavin. And 
Rebound, grabbed over there. Yeah, Latar's not able to, he's just not, they're, they're, they're keying on him, so he's not able to get his shot off. And, uh, you know, he's 15, 20 points a game and not getting it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Everyone was ready to get excited about seeing if Nick uh, Walker could put it home. Whoa. And we've. Huh. Had a little uh, disturbance. Kind of reminded me of a Trump. Trump's. Stop it. Uh. Huh. We don't know exactly what's. Uh, going on right now but we know some people are uh, being escorted out of the uh, gymnasium at this point and, uh... <laughs> well, looks like hopefully things will settle down now huh. 48.7 to go 54 30 your score We'll get back to a basketball game here. Yep. Bulldogs will bring it up under a minute to go. Thirty-five second you oh. Walker throws it underneath. Deweese able to bank it. Swatted that one off of the knee of Latart. Uh, they're utilizing everything inside. Oh, he oh, stepped he out of bounds. Out. Yeah. He turned on his pivot. He was fine, except that he ran out of room. <laughs> I lead such a sheltered life, Mick, you know. It's okay. It happens to the best <laughs> of us. Here's right now, we're looking to drive inside. Feeds it down low for Latart, but misses him with the pass, and it goes back over to Rossford. Yeah, 2.4 seconds to try and get a shot off. Here's a turnover, but right now I put it up, but it doesn't go. So we've got three in the books here from Genoa High School, and right now Rossford leading Genoa by a score of 54-30. Founded in 1936, Spittler Huffman is proud to continue our long-standing tradition of providing quality results and effective legal services to clients all across Northwest Ohio. We solve problems. That has been our motto for more than 78 years. Be it simple or complex, our attorneys work hard to give you the representation you deserve. We also believe in and support the respective communities in which we live and practice law. Wojo's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Quality comfort you can count on since 1967. They're a proud sponsor of Genoa High School Sports and can help you with all your heating, air conditioning, and plumbing needs. Give them a call today at 419-693-3220. Moe's Place, downtown Rossford, has the best burgers in town and much, much more. Stop by for their famous Flaming Moe Burger. Moe's Place. Proud to bring you Rossford High School Sports. Mike Jamison and Jamison's Mobile Music would like to talk to you about your entertainment needs for your upcoming wedding or special event. For over 25 years, Mike has made wonderful memories one event at a time. Professional sound and lighting and video for your special event. Call us today for an affordable package for your special day. 419-514-1302. Jameson's Mobile Music and Video. Oh, 
Well, one more quarter to go here in Genoa as the Comets trailing 54-30. But, well, the thing is, as I like, as Jeff Lenore likes to point out that I say a lot, <laughs> the thing is, here's the thing. But my point being, all the cliches. I don't statements. know what in dear God you just said over the last half a minute. <laughs> I just let it go. That's why, because <laughs> about 14 different ways of saying nothing. That's what I do best. Okay. Speaking of which, uh, saying nothing, please join us every Saturday from 8 to 10 on the ticket, ESPN 106.5 WTOD. So we have a whistle and a foul for a show with no name. Uh -huh. John Bauer's listening to us right now over at Danny's and uh, relaxing and uh, – He's saying uh, he had to work tonight, but he's he's thankful to – he gets to watch and even gets a screenshot on us. I don't know what the heck the screenshot is. Oh, I no. think that was the shot that Jay took earlier. Oh, that gotcha. put a, you left your phone Yeah, I shouldn't open. do that, huh? Yeah, not a good idea. Jay grabbed hold of it and put some stuff on Facebook. You're great. Shame on him. No, anyway. Comments with the ball. Three attempt. Nope. Easy rebound there for Gaston. You can tell this team is a, they just click. That's the one thing yeah. about, I mean, more than just the, the talent aspect, there's great chemistry on that court. Oh. Love watching how they try their best to get inside. That's the one of the one of the greatest things about this team is it's all built on what they're going to be able to do inside. Boom. Count it and one. As I believe that's going to be Ethan going to the line, the old man, as you call him, <laughs> not me. All the great games we've been in this facility over the last few years. It's a rebuilding year. They got to work on things. And uh, turnover uh -huh. right there. Uh -huh. Oh, Dewey's couldn't put it on. And it's grabbed. They're fighting for it. No one wants to get a hold of the ball. And the timeout quickly called there by Brian Vorst before Gaston could be called for traveling. Yep. Smart man, smart man. We'll be right back. Cleaning your gutters can be dangerous. Take it from Marty. For 30 years, I've been climbing up that ladder, cleaning out those gutters. One time, I leaned the ladder up there, and the feet were on the deck. The deck was a little wet. Next thing I know, the ladder kicks out, and I'm hanging by the gutter, and I start yelling for help. After that occurrence, I called Gutter Helmet. Call Gutter Helmet for an estimate. 419-475-0000. Get Gutter Helmet today, and you'll never clean your gutters again. Keeping you out of the gutter. We're the gutter. Six twenty-nine to go in this one. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be Borovic that's going to. Borovic is going to. I thought he was going to go at the line, but I looked over and it's. Janelle only has four team fouls. Oh. Gaston with the beautiful layup. He is not afraid to go to the hoop. No, that's his that's his mantra, boy. He he does that. Here's right now are being challenged there by Morrison. Now in the corner, baseline bank shot, right. good. Great individual effort there from Alan Laytart. He'll go to the line to try and get a three-point play out of it. I want to say thank you again to Mike DiStasio with just an incredible, incredible pizza tonight. And uh, just, man, they nailed it. And uh, by the way, they got a, they got a new pizza out too. And uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that too. All right, now it's 58-33, under six to go. Nice oh, feed underneath to Morrison. Morrison makes no mistake that time. It's 
He's able to finish it. Right now, we're looking for some help. Gets, oh, off the shoe of, boy, what a fortunate thing there. Went off the shoe of Stoner, right back to right now. And things are getting downright physical now underneath the bucket. Hmm. Going to see some more changes here for Rossford. As Ethan Deweese comes out, along with Borovic. Boy, you got problems with that name. Yeah, I do. That name really bothers you. <laughs> I don't have I don't have problems with Zapila, but Zapilia. Zapila. I only go by what his nurses ask for. Oh my They're goodness. the ones that tell me. Oh, I just go by when everybody, his name is da-da-da. Yep, that's nice. all right. Morrison, nice. his name is Ben, and it was a beautiful bucket. Nice feed down court. Beautiful. Excellent job. Tarp did that one with the left hand. Five minutes to go here in the ball game. Murph wanted that one. And the travel. It was Hayden Savovic with the travel. Nice, nice move inside by Stoner. Again, things still getting a little bit physical underneath the bucket. Gavin Deweese with the foul. So it'll be one and ones here for the comments, but the Bulldogs take a timeout, 62-36. If you're looking for fantastic Italian food along with old world hospitality and family traditions, D'Astasio's is your place. Located in Elmore, Ohio, Coach Mike D'Astasio and his family have become a fast favorite with pizza, lasagna, and other great old world Italian dishes. Stop out today or call them at 419-862-0404. D'Astasio's. 351 Rice Street in Elmore, Ohio. Pep band trying to keep the folks entertained. As it's been all Rossford tonight. Mm. Oh, Zach misses the first one. It's been that kind of a night. I mean, never mind the fact Rossford has been very strong uh. at the, the buckets just are, the ball is going in and out of the bucket and not going down for Genoa here on more than a number of occasions tonight. Yeah. Ooh. Thought about the three there. Oh. And that one's gonna go the other side. But it was by a comet, so they bring it back. 
Wow. Big time three by Hayden Sobovic. That one got the Rossford fans going crazy. That one will stay with Genoa. Hmm. I say thanks to uh, Mike D'Astasio throwing us up some pizza here that was just phenomenally delicious. It was magically delicious. Um, but it didn't taste anything like that food. <laughs> I mean, I don't usually taste pepperoni and banana peppers in my Lucky Charms. But that was delicious. It's magically delicious. And right, now we're starting to get into the foul zone. Yep. Got 315 to go in this one. Don't forget. You can watch, in addition to here on CW13, you can watch all basketball games and football games we've done over the last several years. Go to the website. That's ToledoSportsNetwork.com to see some of the goofy things that we do. And also, if, you wanna, if you're not in the area and you want to be able to check out our games live online. So be sure to do that. There are a lot of them. YouTube's starting to change some stuff, though. That's, yeah, they It's are. getting really weird. They are. They're really starting to take away some freedoms. You can't comment on any of our games now. Apparently not. You, you can't. You, you can't. Because, you know, if you want the kids to be able to see the games, you know, you can't comment anymore. So, you've seen a lot of the JVs in here right now. Vorst's in, Walker's in. Outside, here's Vorst for three, no good. Tell you what, uh, that young man had a great JV game today. It's gonna be a Derek Vorst. He's going to be a good ball player. He's still a freshman, so he's got a lot of things, but he's just got the basics down so well. He's playing really well. Another kid I'm really looking to see uh, improve and contribute more to this Rossford team is another big man, Mr. Nick Walker. Yeah, he's playing he's playing really well tonight too. He didn't he hasn't gotten a lot of time, but uh, uh, junior and he's a big boy and uh, gets in good shape. He'll uh, he'll be a great ball player. 65-39 your score. Derek Forrest. The outside shot, oh, count it. Great. And it's a three. Ooh, doggy. It rains, it pours. That was Luke Borvich. Yeah, younger brother. The younger man. Both teams with some young talent in there for mop-up time. They fight for the rebound. It almost turns into a rugby scrum. I knew you were going to say that. I let you. I thought he's going to say that. I'm, I know he's going to say yeah, scrum somewhere. I wanted to hear him say the word scrum, so it worked out good. Glad I could appease you. <laughs> you. The little things that appease J-Mo. Uh, oh. Thought we were going to have to make yeah. a. I was going to make that shot. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Wrong kind of game, though, huh? Uh, you're, I think you've aged out by a, a decade or three. There's a Morrison. Yep, and his doesn't go. Under a buck and a half to go here in this one. Oh, there you go. Nice shot.
Nobody's coming to him. He's in there. You go. We'll, we'll see what happens here. Granted, this is basically the undefeated JV team out there right now. Yeah, they're, they, I mean, which isn't bad when you consider that the varsity team has one loss. only only has one loss. Right. So and that was down in Columbus in a Christmas tournament that they probably should have won the game. So. Regardless, this team is going to be heard from in the postseason. That's oh, for there's sure. no doubt. Yeah. That's what I'm looking forward to seeing as well as they scrap for it again. This time it's the Comets with it. Another long three. Good. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. No, they need that. You get the confidence levels up. And, uh, Well, it's under half a minute here. McWalker goes up strong. Count it and one. Walker with that big head of hair and he's got a baby face. Looks much younger than he is. They get the rebound. No, oh, does not make it all the way through. And we got a foul call. And it's going to be against Gen or Rossford, so Genoa is going to head back down the court. Got a lot of work to do if you're uh, Genoa getting ready for what's going to be coming up here. I know they're going to Margareta. They're going to going to do a game uh, there. I think tomorrow actually. And, uh, pretty sure it's tomorrow. So regardless, it's 12 seconds now. And Here's a three attempt. Wow. That'll seal it. And that'll do it as the buzzer goes to end this one as it is 73-47 the final as Rossford defeats Genoa here in Northern Buckeye Conference action. Well, that's going to do it here from Genoa High School. As, well, big thanks to all our sponsors. Thanks to Rich on, on camera. Jay showed up and uh, chipped in. And also to my partner here, Mike Jamison. I'm Mick Gonzalez saying so long, everyone, here from Genoa. As 73-47 in your final here in the Toledo Sports Network High School Basketball Game of the Week.